Greetings and salutations, Relax Gamer Nation, and welcome back to Space Engineers Automations Unleashed with a me, Relaxed Gamer. Hello, thank you for joining me. This is grand. I hope you enjoy it. I'm recording this a little early because I'm camping throughout the week, so that's going to be fun. Um, but I have decided that I need to do something about this. It, it works. It works works pretty dang good but it is not long enough and i think i need to do something else for it as well um if we pull open the doors here uh, i've noticed that a bunch of stuff gets stuck uh in this area here I need to do something to increase the height slightly so it kind of curves down. I might do the same thing here. I think these are only... Yeah, these are slopes. I might go with a more directed slope, a steeper slope, if you would. But it works for the most part. Pretty good, pretty good, actually. But I just need to slope it down a little more, so that's going to require a bit of... Um, why? See, th that, that's the problem. It's not, the stuff's supposed to go into the collector, not just sit here and do nothing. Sure, I have build and repair, which will help with that uh, when I have it on. But the tests that we've done, or the supplies that we've reacquired or acquired, <laughs> Um, prove that we have a few things we got to, uh, do here. Because so we got scrap metal all over the place. Like I said, build and repair take care of most of this stuff. Um, so it's just a, it's just a minor gripe, if you would. <laughs> Down there. And we've done a little bit of damage, I think, from from dropping those those grids in, or when the grids actually drop. So I think I need to clad this in heavy armor, and I might need to do the same with... These are already heavy armor, so they're fine. I might need to do the same with this. Oh, that means I have to change sensors and all that stuff. Well, maybe it's not that big of a deal. Oh, I gotta change sensors anyway, because I'm gonna be tearing this apart. Tearing this back wall apart. Bring it all the way to the edge of the canyon, the, the hole. And, uh, yeah, then we'll just look into the armor situation here. Because this light armor deforms rather easily. Yeah. Uh, so today's going to be a work episode. <laughs> We're going to be doing a lot of grinding and chopping and all sorts of stuff. Oh, oh. Another thing. I have... Let me just drop... Uh, okay, maybe I won't drop a block. I have... Brought this in. Now, apparently, with this, they changed the key to be R to pick up and drop. Uh, it used to be F, but now it's R. Uh, we can move things with our hands in a way. Woo! Oh. Yep. <laughs> that didn't work. We can move things with our hands. Um, or our mind when you start stretching it out there. I, I just mouse wheeled out with it and it, it did that. Another thing I want to do today is um, play around with 
uh, these turrets, uh, maybe change them out, uh, out a little bit, maybe modify them a little bit to look more, uh, more like... To be more like this. <laughs> so it's got a bit of a bit of design and actually looks like a pretty kick-ass turret. Uh, now I have a lot of turrets. I'm not going to do that with these because these are already pretty good. They're already pretty kick-ass. Why is that? That is so weird. Oh. That's a that's a skinning skinning error. Oh, I got it over here too. Interesting. Oh, whatever. But yeah, these turrets will stay the same. Uh, this turret will stay the same. And uh, these other turrets I'll be changing. This one I'm not too fond of right now. It's fine as it is, but I'm... Yeah. Maybe it'll look better when I actually build it out to be something similar to that. Oh, shoot. That was loud. Delivery! Could be. Let's turn this focus over to gaming. <laughs> um, okay, where was I? Before I put a cut in the video because of a loud noise. Uh, yeah, so this, because it is, uh, what? Two blocks tall. I could do something similar to this, but have like one here, one here, one here, one here. And maybe, I don't know. I might, I might, yeah, I'll have to play around with it. It's going to take me a little while. Uh, I'm just going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to put a cut cut in the video to start getting to work I'm I don't feel like hooking my uh, my laptop up to uh, do the time lapse so we're just going to do cuts and I'll come back with uh, with um, update videos on well update scenes update scenes yeah I guess update scenes you could say sure of what I have done uh, this <laughs> we don't talk about droney <laughs> we don't talk about droney. Uh, yeah, we don't talk about droney. Anywho, yeah, I'm gonna put a cut in here, and I will see you in a moment with uh, an update video with an update scene. Why do I keep on saying video? An update. I, I don't even need to say scene or video. I just have to say with an update. I'll bring you back with an update. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. See you shortly. The bad thing about doing this is I got to reconfigure this all. Which kind of sucks, but progress, right? <laughs> okay, so that back piece has been torn apart. It's in the process of being torn apart. Uh, I have pinked these uh, turrets over here. So hopefully nothing really comes over and causes me grief. I got rid of this turret here. Um, this turret should be fine for any defensive needs on this side or that side or even on that side for that matter. 
So we have these as well. Um, it should be fine. Yeah. And then I'll be basically building them similar to what I have over here, where it's a large hinge. Large hinge that goes on to um, uh, a conveyor splitter thing. What is it called? Converter. Conveyor converter. Yep. So I'm just going to drop off some bottles here, and I'm going to go back over there and work on that stuff. And I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I have extended it a bit here. Um, I'm just kind of finishing up the extensions, and then I will start working on the doors again. Uh, I'm just sitting, grabbing some energy quickly here. But it's deeper now. It's not really deeper. It's about the same depth. Uh, maybe a little bit, a little bit deeper. But this, with the way that I have these sloped, it should help to funnel things in there a lot better than before. I have no way of testing it until I bring over another wreck. <laughs> now let's get some steel. Ooh, we are um, running out of steel. Actually, we are out of steel. I don't know how our iron supply is. Let's see here. That's enough iron. Four million iron. Yeah. We should be good for a bit. Four million, almost five million iron. Yeah. We might be fine. We might be fine. It's just taking a while to get these, uh, these plates done. I might have to put in another assembler. Don't know where to put it. I think I'm going to have to rearrange this base. Like significantly. Uh, that will probably be another episode, I think. Getting the base rearranged. Because we have two assemblers, we can definitely use more. Yeah, I think this will have to go. We'll have to build a dedicated section for our refinery stuff. Something like that. Oh, oh. Um, these. Remember when I was in the last video saying that these are like bread. Um, oh, frick. What was it? Embrasures. Um, well, they're not. Uh, there were a couple of ideas as to what these could be. Uh, could be, but I actually looked up on Google. And these are parapets. They're basically an armored... Uh, frame around your turrets. Uh, yeah, a barbette. Uh, a barbette is an interesting thing. It 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 is for like large range cannon style turrets. Um, I don't think I can really put an image up on the screen here. I probably can, but I probably won't because <laughs> I'm lazy. But these are parapets, so they're just an armored wall or armored piece of metal that goes around your turrets to protect them from taking damage, right? Uh, the barbette is, uh, if I can make an example of something here. Uh, let's take, for example... Um... You know what? Look it up. Look it up. Um, I might put links in the video. I might not. Quite likely I won't because I will forget when I get around to actually editing and uploading this. <laughs> Just how it goes, right? So yeah, uh, parapets. That's what these armored thingies are. 
um, if if you have a better name for it or have something that uh, maybe we were completely wrong, and no, they're not parapets, they're something else, then uh, please toss it in the comments below. I'm pretty sure parapet is what it is. Uh, because I had to, uh, I, I googled it, googled both of them. Yeah, the meaning of a parapet. A low, protective wall along the edge of a roof, a bridge, or balcony. A protective wall or earth defense along the top of a trench or other place of concealment for troops. So, like, it's kind of like sandbags. <laughs> so, yeah, there's there's your, uh, your, your, uh educational moment for the moment anyway i am going to get back to doing this i'm waiting on my steel <laughs> steel plates and i'll be uh, back in a moment and we're back with another update i just reloaded the game i had to do a bit of stuff uh watched hey, a bunch of uh an episode of a show called the bear season two so and had dinner yeah that's pretty much what i did uh uh but before then i did this so it's all um sealed in for the most part um i gotta go around and recolor some things because i was using the wrong color but that's not necessarily it caused too much of an issue. Uh, another thing that I forgot to do is count it out. Because I don't know... Because I'm going to need to use three hinges on the door. No doubt about that. It's just a matter of... Uh, where I place those hinges. Depending on how this count works, it might... Uh, end up being more hinges. So that's always fun, and my power is low, apparently. Okay. Fine. We have power here. Do, 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 do. So, what have I done? So, I uh, got this all sorted out. Originally, I was going to go with just the square blocks, like I did previously, but I figured this is a little fancier. Well, fancier, I guess, if you... It's not really fancy, but you, you know what I mean. Oh, I just realized I didn't get all the iron here. That's okay. I will... I have a, I have our little miner. We can get, get into that stuff. We revealed a lot of the stuff when we built our drill rig. So, this is... Uh, what about six blocks longer it looks a lot longer than that but about six blocks longer so where was i oh oh yeah so it's about six blocks longer it actually looks a heck of a lot longer than that but it's only six blocks believe it or not it's crazy i'm, I'm gonna swap out these timers because i think i deleted one <laughs> i'm pretty sure i deleted one so i gotta re Refigure that. I gotta cut this out. I got to build the sloped section over here. Uh, I considered putting um, what's a who's it? Uh, these the um, the small angle blocks up here. Uh, but then I was like, oh, where am I gonna put the hinges then? So then I was like, okay, this should be fine sloped enough blocks should be able to fall over the edge and then slide into the grinder it should be fine i also need to build our sensor again for the i think that's a door close sensor i think this is the grinder activate sensor yeah something like that I haven't done any more work on the turrets yet. That's the next order of business once I get this other stuff sorted out. Might put a little bit here, a little bit there. 
Uh, but I want to get this pit uh, rebuilt. So I'm going to work on that. And I will bring you back when I am done with it. Yeah, that sounds good. Then we'll start work on these turrets. Yeah, that sounds good. Alrighty, I'll just put my put this right here. Not that it really matters because I'm not using a uh, uh, what's a who's it a um, time lapse camera. So yeah, okay, I'll bring you back in a moment. Okay, the door is complete. So I did a little something different here. Not like super different from the previous door, but I added in a little bit more uh, greebly touches, uh, mainly with these column blocks. I decided to fit a couple of column blocks in on both sides here, just to break up the flatness of the door. I should have done that in the last time, but yeah. Ooh, that's another thing I could do. I could grind these down. Take one, take two. And then we can put these in. Yeah. Can't do that over here though. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um I could shift the pattern down. No, that's not going to work either. Um, you know what? We're just going to go with it. We're going to grind these, these blocks down, put that block in. The other side over there will stay square. Alternatively, I could. Alternatively, I could do that. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So what what's my plan here? Well, I'm going to uh, get rid of this block. Right, and this block. We're just gonna break up the flatness. Uh, this block, we're gonna convert into that corner block, that inside corner block, and then same with that. So what, what we have here is we'll have our columns in here. We'll have our inside corner block here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And we could actually put warning lights on here. Alternatively, why don't we... Did that work? Hmm... Probably not. What I was thinking is by moving this over one block, we still keep these corners in here. And then we fill in the center here with these blast star blocks. And then we do the same over here with the column blocks. Um, you know what? I got to take a look to see what this looks like. I'm not sure if it's going to work. These are just decorative, after all. Toot toot, toot toot. Let's see what that looks like in a moment here. Yep, 
Maybe. Actually, I think that breaks it up quite nicely. What do you guys think? Should I do it this way? Or should I do it... So yeah, which way do you think looks better? This way, where I have these uh, column blocks on the inside part. Then I have the blast door blocks here. The, uh, um, what are they called? Do they even have a name proper? Edge. The blast door blocks edge, like this. Let me let you look at that for a moment here. Or... We go with this, where we have the blast door blocks edge on the end, and the column blocks in the middle. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, it's going to look a little odd when the doors are open, because they're not quite even with those. I could, I could easily change that, though. I could make these four blocks with two blocks at the end. Yeah, I might actually do that. We keep the three in the middle. We change the uh, uh, these sections here to four. And then we have two on the end. Yeah. I think we'll go with that. That'll make it work a little better with that. So we'll cut this out. I gotta get like get rid of like three blocks on both sides here. And I'm gonna let you watch. <laughs> Just cause. Um yep, like that. And fill that in. Put Just like that. Like that. Well, either way, I gotta change these corners here. Drop and steal everywhere. I am completely willing to change this. So please toss in the comments below how you would like me to do this. Not. I'm just going to do it this way for now. see what you guys think there the doors are done again awesome hmm now I might color these uh, it might be a good idea to color them just to add a little bit extra definition let's see here okay so this is going to be a corner Oh, hold on. What am I doing? Slots in here. Okay. So that goes there. I think that's a solid. Oh, whoops. I screwed up. Like so. Then we put this in. That. Um, this will go here, right? That goes. No, 
this goes. Mm -hmm. no. I think that's okay. Okay, we gotta put a corner here. We gotta delete that block. Got to put a corner here. No. No, we need to do that there. That there. And when that gets torn down, then we'll put that there. Okay. Getting these patterns right, you know, it can get a, a little confusing here. Um, also, you might have noticed that I put a pipe here. I didn't really highlight that at all, but I wanted to be able to gain oxygen and to be able to transfer stuff into my suit from here. So I just uh, piped it up. Mm -hmm. okay. So door is open. Nice. Yes. Four, four, two, three, two, four, three. Two, four, three. Two, four, three, two, four, three. Or two, four, three, four, three. Yeah. Two, four, three, four, two. Yes. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, that's done. Ooh. What are we looking at for time here? I still got a bit of time. Once I chop this up a bit, I still got a bit of time. So let us uh, do, do inventory. You guys need to be refilled again. I really need to find ice. Ice is getting a little concerning here. I think I only have like 2k ice left and that's not going to do much. Okay, cool. Wiki, 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 wiki. Okay, awesome. So let's close up this. Actually, no. We're going to leave it open for now. Because I need to... I think I gotta change this to out a little bit. So it's flat like oh well, maybe. Wait. Do I need to bring it out an additional one? I think I need to bring it out an additional one. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it's going to work here. I think we got what we got here. This is partially into the rock, so we can't put another one here no matter what. So I think we'll just keep it like this. I will chop this down, square it off. Same with over there. And then when I come back, I'll just quickly show you that, and then we will start working on uh, refiguring out these turrets. Okay. Um, I'll be back in a moment. Alrighty, so here we are. We're at the wind the we have the uh the grinder pit door. The grinder pit here. Now I decided to build this partially into the uh voxel, just mainly to make it look better. But then I thought about it. Hey, you know what would be cool? If I could ramp something off of it into the grinder pit. <laughs> but no, I never ramped anything off into the grinder pit because it's not needed. Much. And we're just doing a little final touches here. Well, kind of final touches. All right. Sure. 
But if I ever find a rover, or if I do build a rover, I can be like, wee, you woof, crunch, grind, 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 grind. Actually, most likely it would explode <laughs> before it even got close to the grinders. Yeah, pretty sure that would happen. But uh, I still have to fiddle around with the sensors here to get the grinders to start going. Because, oh no, I have the start, wait, hold on. Yeah, I have the start grinder sensor. I don't have the door close sensor. So I got to put the door close sensor in. Which isn't too big of a deal. I don't need to bore you with that. It can take a little bit of time to sort that stuff out. But we have a door. Uh, as I mentioned previously, um, tell me which you like better in the comments. Do you like this? Or this? Um, I'm kind of a toss up on either of them. I think this one right here might have a bit more utility. I can actually put some lights on there. I could put lights on here, but they'll be closely clustered. That That's my idea here anyway. Uh, but yeah, this one or this one. Uh, okay, so we have all of this stuff here is in heavy armor. This was a pain in the butt of a block to figure out. Um, I'm, I could probably have done better, but it was just a pain in the butt type of block. I think it works, I think. But yeah, all these hinges are hooked up. So there's three hinges to a side. I even put some caution tape down here. <laughs> Not that it really makes much of a difference. Um, I can't really put anything in here that is like a warning to anybody in this area being like, oh yeah, a hard hat or crushing warning. Eh, I could somewhere. I just don't know where because these are like three quarters of a block in height. So yeah. Anyway, yeah. Tell me what you think of this door. Uh, which one you like the best? Uh, those ones I just put as that. Uh, I will definitely, most likely, change it all to match. Yeah. So, let's head over to the turret. I, I don't know what I was doing there. It just felt like doing something funny like that. I don't know. I think I want to spread this out a bit more. I don't want it that close. Three, three. Uh... No, I would have to. Uh... Ah, it's just this. Let's just ignore this. This doesn't exist. In fact, uh, where is my? In here. Sure. I'll just put that one down there. Just cap it off with the round cap. Yeah. For future expansion, maybe kind of sort of not, ah, get ground up by my wooden turbines. So I'm going to go fiddle and fart around with some turrets here. And then I'll bring you back when they are done close to being done uh, I think I'll do these ones last yeah I think I'll do these ones last this doesn't need to be here I put it here because uh, I had a curved pipe here and I changed it to a uh, armor pipe but what we can do is That's a little bit better. Right, okay. What was it doing? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get working on the turrets here. 
I did mention about this just recently, but I also put caps on the end because I might extend this further. I don't know. This probably won't get extended any further, but I put it there anyway. Uh, because I felt like it. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I'm going to go work on turrets. And I'll, I'll be back in a while. Yeah. See you shortly. Yes, see you shortly. Okay, so I have the turrets roughed out right now. Um, I'll show you how I'm how I'm doing these, right? So I'm using the TCES controller. Uh, turret control, frick! I, I keep on forgetting what it what it means. A turret controller enhancement script. Okay, so. Let me walk you through how the turret controller enhancement script works. And I'll give you a, a, a rough look at our turrets that we have set up here uh, before I actually put the cladding on. So over here is our typical saber, uh, not our prowler turret, uh, the same identical turret that we have over here, just without the cladding. <clears throat> Um, it requires all the same stuff that you usually put onto uh, your turrets. Um, your turret controller, your guns, your camera. See right there, your camera. Your hinge, your rotor, etc. So your basic turret design. And then you add in this turret controller enhancement script. Now, you only need one turret controller enhancement script per grid. Uh, so I have, not here, I have the turret controller enhancement script right here in this programming block. So you only need one of it per grid. So if you have a large ship that you have a lot of grids on, a lot of turrets that you want to put on, you only need one turret controller enhancement script. Okay? So let me walk you through what I have so far for this, uh, turret this uh, prowler turret so it has our controller block now it's very important uh, that you if you have a lot of grids with a lot of weapons and stuff like that that you name every weapon area so for instance here since this is my prowler point defense turret so those are point defense turrets they're only going to shoot at anything that comes really close and and biologicals which thankfully we don't have on this uh planet but if we did then this would be going ham like we'd probably be killing skeletons and zombies left right and center here <laughs> sure we still have our hostiles that we get from our wrecks around the place but yeah that's that's beside the point so now, with everything here, you need to set up each turret to be in a separate group. So as you see here, I have TCES, uh, Cord, Saber, Right Grinder, Left Grinder, etc. These, I think, yeah, these are probably done because I have to rename it because I've torn this down, I've torn that down. Yeah, I've torn that down. I've torn uh, this saber down. I've torn the saber grinders down. So, yeah. I gotta redo most of these. But you gotta take everything you have in the turret and uh, put it into this single group. So let's take, for instance, the arbalist, which is that big the big gnarly turret over there. One that I'm pretty much basing the rest of my turrets off right now. Uh, it has, if I go to Arbalist, well, just to Arbalist. Oops. Arbalist. Uh, you don't necessarily need to name the weapons in the group, just the other items, like your azimuth rotor. Azimuth means left to right rotation. 
Um, so going around in a circle. Uh, your camera. You should name that your custom turret controller, which I just shortened to CTC. And your elevation. That's all you need to hook up your turrets here is you take all your weapons all your hinge rotor camera turret controller script and put them all into a single group once you do that <coughs> and you get the tces the programming block set up uh you need to hit run to get all our turrets back so right now we have weapons that do not have stuff in it. I'll run this. Still going to show all that stuff. It's because I've named some of those previously, like the cord, the prowler, the saber zero, saber L grinder, and the saber R grinder. Which, yeah, it's not, it doesn't have anything in it right now. So once you do that, you're all set to go. You name it. You run, your, you run the programming block, and your turrets will do what you want. Now, there's a few advanced things. Maybe advanced, maybe not. It depends on how you look at things. Uh, you see how I have some of these turrets angled in certain directions and certain angles that the turrets are going? This is a special thing with TCES. So after X amount of seconds or whatever... I think I have to actually do that in the, uh, in the CES, in the actual script itself. Yeah. In the actual script yourself, uh, it has a whole bunch of stuff in here, like auto return to rest angle delay. You do not want to put this down to one second. You want to probably go 10 to 20 seconds or something like that, depending on how you feel about it. Uh, because it will actually try and move your turret back to that angle constantly in every second. So you want to put this in a relatively high number, like 20 seconds is fine. I'll just put it at 20 seconds. I think I got to change a bunch of these settings, but they're not really important right now. <clears throat> So we'll hit set up to refetch and it'll refetch the turrets. Now this prowler is not, none of these turrets are set up except for these prowlers over here. So let me show you what that auto return to uh, center. Oh, this one is done too. So if I go into our turret here, I don't, I need a seat or something like that close by. Control. Yeah, see, I can control it from here. I don't have everything named yet, so it didn't automatically go into the camera. But if I say bring this all the way over here and it's at a high angle, right? Like that. So after 20 seconds, what it will do... Um, I shouldn't have put it at 20 seconds, but whatever. We'll just keep an eye on this. What it will do will reset to a certain angle. Um, a certain azimuth and a certain elevation angle. In this case, you see, it's doing that right now. Its azimuth is being reset to zero, and then its elevation is being reset to zero for this particular turret. For these other turrets, I'll have the elevations probably at about 15 degrees, 5 to 15 degrees upwards, kind of like over here. And... The corner turrets probably angled at about 45, and the turrets in here probably angled at about 15. Now, there's no reason to do that, uh, except for target acquisition speed. So you acquire target, you want your turrets to acquire targets relatively quickly. So staggering your uh, rest angles is usually a good idea. So let's go over here. Um... Yeah, let's go over here. So here are our raw turrets. Um, they have barely any cladding on them. It's just basically blocks. I have them arrayed in a certain angle. 
this I've added an additional gun to because I want these guns to do a good um, saturation of the target. So when a target comes in, all seven of these guns are going to fire and they're all going to hit in different locations. Uh, your more central gun, being this one, will probably hit the target that you're looking for. If you're just looking to tear down a target, saturation angles. <laughs> Plus, it kind of looks pretty badass when you have it arrayed like that. Uh, just with our cord over here, for instance, I have it arrayed like this. I got cords on the side, cords on the bottom, and two cords. Pretty central here. So in order to set up these... Uh, I've already renamed the turret. Oh, I haven't yet. Okay. This has been... This is brand new. Okay. Perfect. This is brand new turret, brand new rotor, etc. So let's go into this turret. So we have our control to our um, custom turret controller right here for Saber 02. Um, I want to rename everything on this particular uh, grid as Saber 02. So what we're looking for primarily here is the whites. So camera. So we'll do Saber 02 camera. Then we'll keep on going down until we find our CTC which I'm actually on and you don't have to do this, but I am going to rename these for my sanity's sake. <laughs> I have a mod in that allows me to rename multiple blocks. Saber 02, um, Sabers, <laughs> place. Now it gets a little tricky when you're not entirely sure what your uh, rotor and turret and stuff like that is named. So I have a mod in called Build Vision, which helps me look at things from forward perspective. Now, if you don't have that mod, you can just go into the side here, uh, look up your rotor and find it. Uh, in this case, it's advanced rotor number nine. We're going to rename this to Saber 02 Azimuth. Like so. Because there's a second Saber on this side. So Saber 02 Azimuth. And now we need to find this hinge. Now with Build Vision, it's simple. I just hold Control. I look at it. And I mouse wheel up to get it. So it, it's very important to rename these things uh, when you can. Saber 02. I don't need it named as hinge. I need it named as elevation. It's important that you name it azimuth and elevation. Otherwise, the script will not know what you're talking about. Unless you actually change it within the script itself. So now that I've got all of these renamed to our Saber 02, just a matter of going into our control panel, finding the Saber 02s, 02, and then select everything that has Saber 02 in the name and create a group starting with T C E S. Uh, TCS ES has to be at the beginning. You don't have to put this hyphen. You could put uh, something else. I just prefer hyphens. And Saber 02. And that's ready for the TCS TCES script to search out. Now, when we look at Saber 02, when we look at the elevation and we go into the custom data, we have nothing in here right now. The same with our... Uh, azimuth we will have nothing in here right now in order to get that to populate we need to run the setup on this then go back to the turret click the azimuth here and go to custom data now we have stuff in here which is pretty dang cool 
This is the azimuth, so this is the left and right. I don't know what to set it at. Let me check the other saber. TCES saber azimuth, custom data. I have this one at 20 degrees, so this other one will be at minus 20 degrees. Saber O2. If I could spell, that would be great. Azimuth. Test of data. Negative 20. Another thing that you need to uh, consider when you're building turrets, especially when you're mass building turrets, is you have everything at the same angle. So as you see with my rotors here, on this side of the base, I have 90, 90, 90, and uh, zero. I don't know why I did that, but it should have been 90, but okay, sure, whatever. It's not, so we'll just deal with it. It means that I probably will have to do some, some jiggling about this to uh, get it to work properly. I might have to do like different angle degrees. One might be like minus something, the other might be another minus something. So we have the azimuth set to that. This will not uh, register until we do the setup in the TCES again, in the actual um, programming block. Now let's go in here. I want to look at the Saber 01. 01, elevation, elevation. Oh, it's not in here yet, right now because I haven't set it up yet, and I put a new a new rotor, rotor yeah, rover, rotor, rover, ro ro rotor. I put in a new hinge. Wow, I am uh, speaking well right now. That is great. So instead, uh, it's probably an unnamed hinge here. Yeah, I don't have it named yet. So we'll go quickly name this Saber 01 Elevation. Now, what is this set at? This is set at zero. Okay. It's fine. I will reset it in a moment here. What is this set at? Minus 13. So around minus 15. Let's go back over to the one we were working on. Saber 02. Elevation. Custom data. Freeze. Uh, minus 15. Why minus 15? Why am I doing minus 15? Because of the way I have the hinge set up. You see this little uh, notch here? That means that it's negative going in this direction negative going in the direction of the notch. So this direction is negative while this direction is positive. So now that that's set up, uh, we have everything set up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to refresh the TCES script by typing in setup here, which I already have set up, and clicking run. Look at that. Turret is now set up. Awesome, huh? So that is TCS, TCES in a probably a long-winded way of, of mentioning it. I think I squirreled a little bit. Pretty sure I squirreled a little bit. But yeah, that's TCE, TCES. It is, uh, who is it by? I think it's by Whiplash. TCES. System data. I think it's by Whiplash. Let me quickly check that while I'm here. Uh, program. It. TCES. Yeah, it's by Whiplash. Right here. Whiplash 141. TCES 2 Turret Controller Enhancement Script. 
it will save you so much trouble, so much... Uh, it takes a little time to set it up, but it's helpful. Very much so. And as you can see by this, it supports more than two rotors. So if you have a particularly heavy turret and you want it hooked on multiple rotors to keep the uh, tension up, if you would, uh, tension, is that right? Uh, something like that. Then you can use this, set both rotors as your azimuth or as your elevation. Uh, if you're going two rotors, then it's probably elevation. Uh, and uh, you set those at the same elevation. Or if you have one rotor as your azimuth, you can have two rotors as your elevation because it supports more than two rotors. So yeah, that's TCA TCES by Whiplash, Turret Control Enhancement Script by Whiplash141. I may not put this in the description, but it should be pretty, pretty easy to find. Whiplash has a lot of scripts up there. Go by name, go by TCS, go by Turret Controller Enhancement Script, and you should be able to find it. So what I'm going to do right now is exit out of here, and I'm going to do the rest of it, uh, uh, set up the rest of these, uh, these turrets, uh, uh, probably without the cladding right now, uh, or with the cladding. I'll, I'll see when you come back, or you'll see when you come back. I'll probably be putting the cladding on here. Anyway... I'll be back shortly. So armor cladding these things uh, takes a long time because there's so many angles you got to deal with. And then you're like, oh, I got to make this look kind of okay. And then you're like, uh, maybe let's change this out. Let's change that out. Um, like I'm doing on this one. It's like, yeah, those are cool and all, but I don't quite like them as much as I thought I would initially. Because you can't just be like, oh, here's angle, find me block. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> so I've done a little bit of experimentation on the back here with the armor cladding. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, it's just not thrilling me. It, it'll do its job, but it's just, Eh. There's something I gotta do to it, and I'm not entirely sure what. Maybe the base is just way too bulky. Energy low. Hmm. I'll try it on. I'll try something on this turret. That's different. See what I like best. But. That's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. I hope I was helpful in this episode. Uh, with any of your questions that you might have had. Uh, about, well, the turret control enhancement script. That, that's the name of it? Yeah, something like that. TCES. Uh, we got this done. I, uh, I've got these the raw turret set up here right now. Once I come up with a, uh, a decent design that doesn't look too out of place, then these will be going the same way as these ones. Yeah, um, eh. Maybe I need to do something similar to this. I'll give it a try. But not right now. Anyway... Thank you very much for joining me. I think I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao. Yeah.